Hi, oh yeah, it's Goblin's Henchman here. So today I thought I would do something a bit different to the uh, usual Excel tomfoolery that I normally engage in. So this is more of an opinion piece, I suppose. It's about ability checks. So um, I'm sure you know what an ability check is if you're listening to this um, slash watching it. Um, this is when, say, a character PC decides to do something, for example, to walk over a greased log that's maybe spanning a river. So DM might then roll to see if the PC achieves the goal of doing this task. And usually what they'll do is roll a dice or dice against the ability score. So in this case, they'd either roll a d20 or say a 3d6 or 3d6 and they need to roll below say their dexterity or below or equal to their dexterity depending on the, the test the DM's using. So given that the two main tests are a d20 or a 3d6, I started thinking a little bit about which one would be the best, what's the best test. Um, and that led me to write an article in AND magazine, which is uh, an AD&D e-magazine which comes out um, periodically um, and it's for free, so um, please check it out. And I wrote this article in issue 14 called Ability Checks, Are You Doing It Wrong? Um, essentially, what I was doing was considering the probability of of, um, of of these two tests and proposing maybe alternative solutions. So here you go. Here's the probability. This is the ability score along here, the bottom, and this is the chance of passing it at the top. So if you've got 18 decks, literally your chance of failing a 3D6 test is nearly zero. I mean, in fact, it's about 0.5%. And if you've got an ability score, say, 3, 4, or 5, your, your, ability, your chance of passing this test is nearly zero as well. Again, about half a percent in this, this area here. Whereas a D20 system is, is basically linear. Well, it's linear. So even if you've got 18, even if you've got 18 decks, you've still um, got a 15% chance of failing it. So that's, that's still appreciable. And if you've got a deck uh, ability score of, say, 3, well, you've got still about 10% of passing it. So, given the stark differences, um, and, and just so you know, here, here, are the, here are the stats. They range from, um, for the D20 system, 10 to 85% chance of passing, which the 3D6 system range from about half a percent up to 99.5%, so again, quite different. So, that led me to think, well, actually, it's not so much which test is better, but when you should use which test. So I came to the conclusion that the 3D6 system is really a test which is a measure of, of essentially genius, like an innate ability, whereas the the 20 system is more likened to, say, a mundane kind of grind slash drudge test. Um, and you should choose the appropriate test to, to fit the circumstances. So here we go. Here, here are some examples. So if you're if a character was trying to do something like calculus, I would say then, you know, or akin to calculus, you should use a genius test because a genius will always be able to do calculus invariably, ninety nine percent of the time, where someone with three intelligence flat out won't be able to pass it. Whereas if it was a more mundane task like stock taking, well, even someone with three intelligence may be able to do it with a kind of really systematic regime, you know, still the chance is low, 10%, but they still have a, ch a, re a, a appreciable chance. And someone would say 18 intelligence may still fail it because they get a bit complacent or they're bored. <clears throat> and say for charisma, again, if you were giving a speech to inspire a crowd, I'd use the genius test because someone with 18 charisma, you know, probably pull it off because they're so charismatic. Whereas someone with three charisma is just, just not going to do it. Um, and same, the sort of mundane equivalent of that would be bargaining with a merchant. So even someone with a low charisma may still have a chance, whereas someone with a, you know, exceptionally high charisma, maybe they're not too inspired by the, the task and, and, you know, arguing over horses, you just can't inspire somebody. Um, so they still got a, a chance of failing it. So that's, that's what, you know, that, that's where I'm at. I think... Pick your test appropriately. If you think it's someone that something is about an innate genius ability, use the 3D6 system. Whereas a boring, mundane task, use a D20 system.